What is partial pressure? Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Amy and I'm a scuba diving instructor. In the previous video, we discussed how as scuba divers, our environment changes. We also touched on the fact that this affects the gas that we're breathing. Now, in order to understand what's actually happening to our gas, we need to look at the individual components of our breathing mixture. So it's oxygen and nitrogen. Dalton's law. John Dalton was a British chemist during the 17 and 1800s. In the scuba diving industry, he is well known for one of the gas laws that we learn as scuba divers, um, and this is known as Dalton's Law. I'm not going to read out the gas law to you. But plainly, simply, it, all it means is that the total pressure of a gas, meaning the total pressure of gas in your cylinder, is made up of the pressure exerted by individual gases in that breathing mixture. For example, oxygen and nitrogen, again. The equation looks like this, which simply means this. The pressure exerted by these individual gases is known as partial pressure. For example, oxygen partial pressure refers to the pressure exerted by only the oxygen part of the blend, hence the name partial, meaning it's just part of the total pressure inside your cylinder. Simples. Let's see how a partial pressure changes as we descend under the water. Let's look at this table for some examples. So in the first column, you've got your depth. In the second column, you've got the surrounding pressure measured in bar. And in the next two columns is our individual gases. So oxygen and nitrogen. If we descend down our table, we can see how the partial pressure of these individual gases are changing. And you can see it's always in correspondence to the surrounding pressure. Let's look at some examples. So we descend down to 10 meters, we're experiencing two bar, okay? And this then has a corresponding effect on the partial pressure of oxygen. And so the partial pressure of oxygen at 10 meters becomes 0.42, so 42% oxygen in effect. And the same goes down when we go to 20 meters, we're now experiencing three bar, okay? And now we're experiencing a partial pressure of oxygen at 0.63, so 63% equivalent. A partial pressure of a gas within a breathing mixture can be easily calculated by multiplying the fraction of that gas by the surrounding pressure. So it's important to remember that the amount of gas you take with you is not increasing, but the concentration at which it's given to you is increasing. So you've got a glass of water and you've got your favorite cordial. So your glass of water represents your lungs and your cordial represents your gas mixture. So at the surface, we're gonna add a teaspoon of cordial to our glass of water. We then descend down to 10 meters and we're gonna add two teaspoons of cordial to our glass of water. We then go down to 20 meters. We're now experiencing free bar. So we're gonna add three teaspoons of cordial to our glass of water. We go down to 30 meters, we're experiencing four bar. So we're gonna add four teaspoons of cordial to our glass of water. So you can see the deeper we go, the stronger in taste your drink is becoming. That's exactly what's happening to your gas mixture. We're making each breath more concentrated due to our surrounding pressure. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you learned something. And if you have any questions, just put it in the comments below. See you next time buddies.